Bart's got the boat and it's off and sailing. Let's turn the salt, it didn't go into a sailboat. We traveled a thousand miles. Oh, yes! Look at the size of it! So, this is one of the wildest things I've ever seen. As you can see here, we're just tiptoeing through the mangroves, and underneath us, like half out of the water, is mangrove jack the size of this and big cod. And we're just stalking through, trying to, trying to get a spear into enough for, for dinner. But this is. You can hear them all behind us here. There's some huge fish in like ankle deep water. It's incredible. Get them, Fran. Oh, there we go, the size of this one. He's gonna beach himself. Oh. Go on. <laughs> I'll catch you with my bare hands here. There's a cod like that big, we couldn't nail him. <laughs> but I think we want a mangrove jack. Did you hurt him? No, no, he just beached himself on the mangrove. He was like that big. Seen them just spook and um, run away from us. And I've just got that shot straight through there and actually stoned him, I think. How cool. Oh, that's wild. This is the most wild thing I've ever seen. It's crazy. Big one's gone in there. There somewhere. Yeah, but I don't have to see it. Oh, go for it. <laughs> you got him? What the fuck is it? Oh, they're everywhere. <laughs> I can see him here. Oh, I thought you had him, eh? I need to. Oh, he's still there. Oh, he's huge, Brad. Big Jack. Oh, he's up in the shallows there. Go hard at him. Just go, go hard and start stabbing. Yeah, go, go. You got him? Go harder, Fred. Pin him, pin him, pin him. Ah! Pin him. He's just here. There's a cod. Oh, he's still there. Oh, this is a big jack here. Look at him. He's freaking huge. He's making the mangrove shape. Oh, that's a good jack. That's a good jack, the one in front of you. He's stabbing. Yeah, he's hiding there. Oh, so close. Escape <laughs> for wrath. You get it? You get it? I must have got it. Wait, hold, right hold it in there. You, you were right on it. You could him more. Oh, he was under a log. So close. Okay, he's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, friend, this one here. Friend, one in here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right below me. He's coming back towards you. He's just there. Go as hard as you can. Yeah, I'll spray that out. That's right. Hard, hard. Oh, damn. Got him? How did he f***ing escape? <laughs> oh, no, I got it. Oh, hold it down. Hold it down. Hold it down, Fred. Good job, good job. Yeah. Right, you hold it, you hold it, it's your spear. Yeah, I'm holding it. I'm holding it. <laughs> well, I think we finally got one. Alright. You got it, you got it? I got it, I got it, I got it. You ready? You gotta, you gotta grab him, he's your fish. Pin him down. That wasn't gonna come off, was it? I hope not. Hold him down. Yeah, no, hold him down and grab him, yeah. Oh no, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. From the ice. Grab me wherever you can. Yes, Fred, you go! Yes! Hi, nice, Fred! <laughs> <laughs> Good job! 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 Good
Take your hands off again. Oh, what's this? I think I'm... I think right? I grabbed a shark, yeah. You should just talk, just hit here. Oh, you right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He bit you. No, that's fucking heartbreaking, friend. Oh, it must be there. Then he's scaring off or? Yeah, or something just here, right? That's a, a jack or a cod? Oh, make sure you pin him down there. Yeah, yeah. What's that to the side? That's a cod, That's eh? a cod, but I didn't get that one. Oh, his cod's got himself stuck. He's got himself a mischief. You got that, Jack? Yeah, I got that, Jack. Right. I'm just sad about the other one. No, I think this is the one. No, because there's another one next to it there. There's so many. Jacks? Yeah. You see, there's one here that I got, and there's one right there. You can't see it with the GoPro. You can see the little fins there. Oh, I don't want to kill all of them. No, but which one's yours? Yeah, I got this one. Oh, you just got one. That's good. Yeah, but I killed the other one. You did. <laughs> yeah, I killed well, I did, Don't let this one get off then. But how do we get it? <laughs> Are you sure it's a jack? Uh, yeah, I'm sure it's a jack. Oh. That cod's got himself stuck. See that cod there? Yeah. This is a big cod that's done himself a mischief and got himself stuck. Wee. Oh, oh, pin him down for another one. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> All right. There's another, see there's another one. Another right one there. stuck in it. So I think there's like three jacks and one... a cod all pinned in this one spot. Done Hold him, friend. Oh, lost it. Don't let him go. I got it. I got it. Fuck, make sure you're right. You got him proper now. I don't think you've got him, mate. Eh? Yeah. Jack here, but they're fucking so slippery, aren't they? <laughs> right. He's probably got himself stuck here. Oi! There he is. You got one, friend. <laughs> yes, you did get him. Good job. No! <laughs> All right. Let's kill this fucking fish and get out of this sand fly ridden hell. That is incredible. Hand picking Jack out of the mangrove and then dropping him. Oh. Catch and release. Your one will live, eh? He'll be fine. You just, you got him like, just like a tiny little tattoo mark. You think? Yeah, yeah. All right, we got dinner. Well done. Oh. <laughs> Not letting go. Straight out of the mangroves. It's like that game you play at carnivals where things pop their heads up. You've got to try and whack them. Oh, That's the beaver so one. Cool. Yeah, the beaver, the beaver <laughs> game where they pop their heads up. Oh. Brandon, this place is incredible. It's like ankle deep water and there's big jacks swimming through. Wow. That is crazy. It's a shell. It's a shell, yeah. How cool is that? This side. That is incredible. Look at this for a shell. That is absolutely incredible. That's the biggest I've ever seen. It's one of them. It's just really small. This is the coolest place, but before we go, I just want to get some footage of these jacks, how they're all hiding in the shallow snags, undisturbed before we start throwing spears at them. 
I'll see if I can sneak in through the back here and get some footage. You've got to see it, it's so cool. Leave these guys here. on the bank of the river. Let's see if we can get a bit of video footage of them before spooking them. They camouflage in so well to the shadows. There they go, here we go. Oh, see, look at them, it's alive with them. Just when you think there's none there, they start spooking. There he is there in the sun. See him in the sun there, bright red. It might be hard to see on the GoPro, but this is incredible. Just hovering over the top of these like, Whoa, that's a big one. Big, big Jack. Look at him there. See the bow wave he's put out? Oof, oof. Oh, that's so cool. Hopefully a bit of that footage turned out for you. But it's something I've never seen before. I mean, where we fish back home, cast all day, and can't catch the bloody things. And then you come here in ankle deep water, and they're plentiful that's incredible so bloody cool that's what i wanted to see on these adventures and that's one of the reasons of going camping for two months is to try and find areas where people don't get to and this kind of shit happens so that's so cool I do have to run now though friends hurrying me up oh shit oh, we've left it a little bit too long come around the corner tide's got the boat and it's fucking off and sailing. Let's turn the salt, it didn't go into a sailboat. The anchor would be just be dragging along the bottom, which is hopefully slowing it down. But it's gonna be a fucking long shit swim out there. And hopefully I can catch it. All right, I think this is as close as I'm gonna get to it as it's drifting away. Need a fish here for Fran. Sorry, Fran. Shit. Oh, see you out there. All right, guys, this is now a period of time after you've last seen me on this episode, chasing after that boat drifting away. Um, I was really unsure whether I was gonna include this whole segment and make it public on YouTube at all, but I really didn't want to, but then I figured I didn't want the great adventure to be just a highlight section. Like I wanted it to be the good, the bad, the ugly, the truth of what happened out there. Um, and yeah, this was this was certainly one of the ugly times. I figured the best way to kind of recount what happened, I struggled to put it in words. I haven't even told as my best mate about it, but I did keep a diary um, and I did write in the diary. So I figured I may as well just read it back to you. It can be a matter of factual way of of what happened that afternoon and leading into that evening. Day 17. Fixed the bilge pump fuse problem, woohoo. Productive morning, sorting the boat, refueling, solar panel charging, maintenance, etc. Headed across to neighboring island in search of mud crabs around the mangroves. Anchored the boat just off the island and swam in with a hand spear. Found a little estuary creek about 30 metres by 5 metres and half a metre deep that was full of big mangrove jacks and cod right up in the shallowest mangroves and cut off at low tide. Great fun hand spearing and picking up a few in between the mangroves that were caught. Amazing to see. No crabs but mangrove cracks looked likely. On return to the boat, Fran yells out that it's drifting. I sprint down the reef flat and the boat appears to have its anchor rehook about 200 meters offshore. The wind has changed direction and is blowing the boat further offshore from the island. I jump in and swim out hard freestyle at it, doing four strokes per breath and powering at a max effort. As I look up to take a breath and check my heading, I notice the boat now further away than when I started. 
ship. The boat has caught the wind and choppy seas and swell. It's now with the wind and I'm going with the current, the other direction, further away from the island and yet further away from the boat. I go freestyle as hard as I can again until I hit a point of fatigue and can't rotate another shoulder. I look up to check my bearings, hoping I'm now surely close to the boat and it's even further away. Ah shit. Now it's in the deep channel and no chance at rehooking for at least a couple of days drift. Fran standing, stuck on a rocky, sandfly ridden island with nothing. I'm committed to swimming after the boat as it drifts off into the sunset further and further away and I struggle for breath in a state of exhaustion. Just don't think about the tiger sharks or crocodiles. But when's the point of no return? When is the boat too far away to surrender, admit defeat and try and get back to the rocky sandfly island with Fran? Almost in a state of disbelief and denial, I continue to swim after the boat, hoping that I'll look up for a breath and the boat will be just in front of me and will brush the whole situation off as a tiny mishap on the great adventure. But after repetitive bursts of max energy freestyle, I look up and the boat is yet further away, each time to the point I can now only make out a distant figure in the sun glare as I struggle for breath, and the island I've come from is now a distant figure in the opposite direction. Booties was a bad choice, now feeling like lead weights attached to my ankles. It's ironic that I've played this scenario over so many times in my head, and I remember a very narrow escape where I nearly drowned in Papua New Guinea as maybe an eight-year-old. And mum said to me, don't you ever stop swimming, just keep going. I always thought that in a moment of life and death scenario, I'd be able to just keep going for as long as it takes. But unfortunately, there reaches a point where the mind is willing, but the body not able due to exhaustion and fatigue, when quite literally one arm couldn't rotate over. At this point, I opted for a squid kick on my back, trying to suck in some oxygen, um, and I found a great level of composure and was able to put aside panic or stress. Even though I couldn't manage a breath um, that wasn't flooded by water, I felt like I was moving at good speed and able to rest the shoulders for another round of freestyle for as long as I could. And at this time, two strokes per breath. But every second that passes, the boat drifts further and further away, and I drift with the current further away from both the boat and the island. When I had nothing left to give, to give and no hope, I looked up and noticed the Moana sticker on my boat in the distance that I hadn't seen before. Maybe I'd made a bit of ground on it, but having just given it all, I can't back up and repeat that effort. But I've got to try. Even if I follow the boat, for as long as it takes, I had to get it. I remember thinking, we left on this adventure because I wanted to be pushed out of my comfort zone, because I wanted to be in danger. I wanted to feel fear. Well, Jack, are you fucking happy now? Have you got what you wanted? And what about poor Fran? A long way from hometown of Italy, watching her only contact with the real world, boat and boyfriend drift off out of sight into the sunset. I put my head down for another effort until my vision started closing in like tunnel vision and I could feel myself hypoxic and nearing blackout. But when I looked up, the Moana sticker on the bow of my boat was a little clearer. I had ever so slightly gained on the drifting boat. Now repeat that, that this until you can't possibly go any further, but then keep going. As now I can hear the noise of a bilge pump underwater the bane of my existence this far on this trip. Uh, at least it's working perfect now as the boat continues to drift out of my reach. I eventually close the gap to the point the boat is just reaching distance. I reach my hand up to grab the gunnel and pull myself over as I do so many times every day. But my arm barely makes it out of the water. So I kick to the back of the boat and opt for the stairs before collapsing into the boat. A feeling of hypoxic blackout, exhaustion, faint, the need to vomit, and my vision closing in with a Vignetti filter effect. But I was safe and on the boat.
Surely there's something deep and philosophical to be learnt from this. I'm just not sure of it yet. Fran was safe and we had an amazing mangrove jack dinner and sunset on the island. That's what happened, guys. It was a, a very long afternoon. Unfortunately, no one was in a state of mind to get a camera out and film it. But that's how that afternoon played out. But the good news is we're safe. The boat is safe. We live on. <laughs> Fran is safe. <laughs> and the great adventure, the great adventure continued. So we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Do you see me? <laughs> yeah, but I was trying to talk to the people on YouTube.